Hey everyone, Teresa Santa here with I Brand Your Business, and I want to show you how cool it is to use Google Drive. First of all, it's a free drive space where you can share and or store any type of file you want safely in Google Secure Data Centers with other Google users. This is different than a typical email attachment because of the size and number of folders, files, and or docs. You get a whopping 15 gigs for free with your Gmail account, and if you have a business Gmail account, it's twice the size. Also, if you need more space, you can purchase more up to something crazy like 30 terabytes. That's crazy wacky space. There's a lot of stuff that Google Drive can do, but for this tutorial, we're going to concentrate on how to upload files, share files, and how the recipient downloads the file. All right, so first you must have a Google account. You'll need to open a Google account if you don't already have one. FYI, if you have a Gmail account, that is your Google account. Log into Google using your Gmail account, username, and password on google.com. Google has several tools called apps that you can access through these little square icons up on the top right of your desktop screen. In your apps, go ahead and select Drive, or you can also access your Drive by going to drive.google.com. Just make sure that you're logged in first. If you are new to Google Drive, the site will take you through a short information wizard. Just follow the prompts on your screen or click the X icon to close the wizard. Here is a helpful guide to help you with all the features of Google Drive in detail. I'm going to show you the basics of using Google Drive and at the end of this tutorial I will show you a neat tool you can use for your desktop and mobile devices. To follow along with this video, make sure that you have the updated Google Drive. So if it looks like this, then what you want to do is you want to click on the little settings here and click on Experience the New Drive. And that will update your drive to the newest version. Now that you're up to date, let's upload a file. Click on New and you will see that you can create a folder or upload a file. Click on File Upload and navigate to wherever your file is located that you would like to upload. Click Open and you will see a wizard in the corner uploading your file. The nice thing about the drive is you can preview most file types right here on the drive. Okay, so we have our first file, but as you upload more files, this can get messy and disorganized. So let's create a folder to manage and divide files as needed. To create a folder, click New then Folder. Name your folder as you wish and click Create. To put any files outside of the folder, click and drag the file to the folder. Or you can simply right click on the file and click Move To and select the destination folder. Now let me show you how to share this folder with other people. You can also do this with a single file. For this part, I am going to change my view from Grid View to list view. This is just my personal preference. First, I'm going to show you how to share your files privately with other Google users. Right click on the folder or file you want to share, select share, or click the folder or file and click this little icon on the top right. If you are already connected with people or have people in your contacts, you can type their name here and select from the list that appears. Otherwise, you'll need to know their Gmail address. By clicking on the down arrow here, you can control whether the user can edit or only view the file or folder. Before you click send, be sure to pay attention to this detail. If this is a private file, meaning you don't want to share it publicly, you'll need to click here, get shareable link, and you will notice that it reads anyone with a link can view. To make this file completely private, click on the down arrow. Select Off. Only specific people can access. Now the only way the recipient can access the file is by logging in to their Gmail account. Once you are done with the private settings, add a note for your recipient if you would like. You can do that here in this field. If your files are ready, click Send. So the question you may be asking, if your recipient has no idea how to download your file, how does my file get downloaded or viewed? I'm going to go ahead and log into a different email address and pretend I am the recipient. You'll see here in the recipient's email inbox, Invitation to Collaborate. Open the email from the sender of the file. You'll see the sender's message and a link to the file or folder, so you want to go ahead and click Open. 
As you can see, the folder opens up in a browser. Here you can see the content of the folder that was shared. If you were given editing rights and you edit anything in the folder or file, it will synchronize with anyone and everyone who received the shared file or folder. Clicking on the Add to Drive button will make a copy of the folder so you can see it on your own Google Drive. To download the file or folder onto your computer, right-click on the file or folder and select Download. The download will go into your Downloads folder or the destination folder you select. To preview the file, double-click on the file to open and enlarge the content. If you want to download from the preview, click the download arrow to download it to your computer. This was for a recipient who is receiving the file or folder privately. I'm going to quickly share with you how to share content publicly so anyone can just click on the link to access the file or folder. Let's go back to Google Drive. I'm going to right click on the folder and select share. Then click on Get Shareable Link. To best understand the options, click on the down arrow here and select More. You'll see the link sharing options. Select the one that best applies. I'm going to select anyone with a link can access. No sign in is required. Click Save and you'll see a link. Right click on the link and select Copy. Now you can email the link by pasting the link into an email with whoever you want to share that file. You can paste that link anywhere, including a social media post if you want. I've got the link and I'm going to log out of my Google account to show you what it looks like. I've emailed this link to myself and I'm going to show you what it looks like to a non-Google user. I have opened up the link while logged out of my Google account and I have clicked on the link and here it is. To preview, click on the file and here I can download it to my computer or print it. This was a very simplified way to share folders and files. In another video, I will show you how to use Google Docs, but I did promise you a user-friendly tool at the beginning of this video, and I am a lady who holds to her word, so let's get started. If you don't want to do this part, you don't have to. As we've already learned, your Google Drive is accessible on your web browser, but you can download a tool to your desktop or even to a mobile device such as a phone or tablet. We are only going to cover the download to a desktop for Mac or PC in this tutorial. If you want to download this tool for a mobile device, you can find it in your Apple Store or Play Store. You'll find it under Google Drive. If you have any questions about this, you can always refer to the PDF from earlier in this tutorial. Let's move on to the desktop installation. This tool installs a Google Drive folder on your computer, making it easy to drop files into your Google Drive's shortcut and access files on your computer while connected to the internet. The files in this folder will sync from your desktop with those in your Google Drive. So whenever a change is made to a file in your Google Drive folder on your desktop, it will update the file in the drive as well. The folder will look like this on your PC and it'll look like this on your Mac. Let's go ahead and install the tool. While logged into Google, go to tools.google.com forward slash DL page forward slash drive. Hover over the blue button and select your device. I'm going to select PC. When the prompt appears, click on accept and install. Click yes. When the installation has completed, click close. After you close, a wizard will appear. Follow the prompts. You may have to log in again. Once the wizard is complete, you'll find a folder in your Folder Explorer or Finder called Google Drive. Now you can copy and paste files into this shortcut and it'll synchronize as if you were on your Google Drive using your browser. Just make sure that you're connected to the internet. Stay tuned for our next Google Drive video where we get more in detail on how to use Google Docs with Google Drive and other useful tutorials. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel to stay connected.